or very, very fast down gentle slopes. Wow. This type of lava flow can get up to about 43 miles an hour. And when it cools, it forms a ropey or a toe-like smooth lava rock. Now this is compared to its cousin, uh, -uh. Now uh, uh is a more gaseous, crumbly, uneven, and sticky type of lava flow that usually forms a continual crust as it usually moves slowly across flatter surfaces towards the ocean. Now when uh, uh cools, it forms a rough or pokey type of lava rock. Take one, this is Ann. This is my niece Ann. Did you see that? Oh, that was so cool. Oh, come on, do that once more, once more. Okay, here goes Ann. Boom, get the connection. <laughs> that you see here was constructed to accommodate the ship that you're now looking at, that is the USS Missouri. The Missouri was the last battleship that the United States ever commissioned, but that is not the reason why the ship's in Pearl Harbor. As many of you might know, on the deck of this ship on September the 2nd, 1945, it rises. You see some irregular cutouts on the side walls back there. That defines where the aforementioned shrine room is. Now the shrine room is the most sacred part of the memorial because inside the shrine room is the wall of honor. The crew that morning, number 1,512, 1,177 of them died and their names are inscribed in that wall. And the stunning statistic is there were 38 sets of brothers assigned to the ship's crew. Three of those sets were triplets. So when you count them all up, that's 79 total brothers. Of the 79, 16 survived.
in the, we are in Shangri-La, uh, which means a, a place where you live forever. So this is the home of Doris Duke. The main courtyard. This is Shangri-La, where you live forever. This is the home, one of the homes of Doris Duke in Honolulu. So take a look. The ocean view. Shangri-La, where you live forever, home of Doris Duke. Uh-huh. Nice, huh? The Pacific Ocean. Tree is where the giant mausoleum dedicated to love would be. Okay, so certain elements for a Mughal garden would be water, whether it's cascading down or coming up. And notice she takes pains on the details. Okay, those are little lotus fountain heads that you see spurting that water up like that. Okay. The Hawaiians once had their own kingdom. Here, our history comes alive, and we can experience the spirit of old Hawaii. From this palace, King Kalakaua ruled the kingdom with regal elegance. With his queen, Kapilani, he continued an earlier tradition. Their monarchy was fashioned after that of British kings and queens, yet it was uniquely Hawaiian. Long before this palace was built, 
that before Western explorers reached Tawakni's shores, the different islands were ruled by their own chiefs. In 1810, this great warrior, Kamehameha I, completed the unification of the various islands. During his reign, Hawaii moved from its isolation to increasing contact with the outside world. This is Honolulu, Waikiki Beach. Look at all the hotels. Incredible, isn't it? Out there is where they gather to go windsurfing, or water surfing, or board surfing. But look at all these, look at these hotels. Oh my. Oh, there's a little pigeon. Hey, Pidge, how you doing? I weed, first thing I do is I That's weed. That's the mother of chocolate right there. Yep, that yeah, that one. I weed all the weeds back away from the plant. And then I cut those limbs and I lay them all around and just sort of smother the whole thing. And, and then time it, it rots down. You're on. Hey, Teddy. This is Mark Kimball, Lava Pots, Hawaii, over in Kona, Hawaii. And this is the um, largest piece that I make. It's a large bowl, uh, weighs about uh, five or six hundred pounds without the dirt in the plant. And um, what's it made of, Mark? If people don't know what the oh, basic stuff is that you. Uh, it's called a lava pot, um, and I designed the material. It starts out. It started out as a, a mixture of clay and and concrete, and that's what it is: clay, concrete, and all sorts of plastic fibers. So, uh, and other additives. Thank you. Enough? Hey, you have a website, don't you? Can people look right. at your website? Yeah, lavapotshawaii.com. Cool, thank you. And how much, so how many years has it been there? Oh, maybe six or seven. I bought it up for a birthday present for myself. I bought this, that one, that one, that one, and Bar pins, drilled and pinned. Mm -hmm. But now we've got to redo, re, got to rebuild the whole thing. Anyway, it's a step thing where you, you're basically trying to get the the chickens to do the work, and this end here could maybe have a little gate so you could. Come Are now entering Mark's studio. This is where he builds 
What do you call them? Lava pots. Lava pots. Lava yeah. pots. Oh my. This is the Here's a few things. This is the latest grouping right here. There is a lava pot in process. How about that? I have another one too. It's what we there. are looking at is one of the Mark's lava pots inlaid with my niece Anne's glasswork, mosaic glasswork. Isn't that something? Awesome. Beautiful, Annie. Yo, take a bow. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs>
over there. Interesting, and it smells too. It's very interesting. Um, this is the uh, the field that we're in. And there's more, and more, and more, and more. Yeah, yeah, I'm moved. This is moving. Just a little walk through the woods. Nobody in front and nobody in the back. Oh, somebody's in the front. Mm-hmm. Nice, huh? This is in the jungle. Hey, this is the garden on the floor of the condo that we live. Nice, huh? Beautiful. We're we're going to the farm. The tree <laughs> going, farm. The tree farm. We're going to Mark's tree farm on this truck. <laughs> so hang in there, kitties. Watch out for the branches. <laughs> you know you you know one of those little insectivora are gonna get on us. Alright, this is just traveling in. We haven't gotten there yet. A bee farm. spot with with drug addicts uh, they come up here with their meth and they sit here and nobody bothers them so that's why the gate over there is is closed and um, that's the other reason why we have this locked is because people just go up and leave their trash all around oh. and the reason there's not trash all around here is because we're keeping that door over there locked so you're exactly the property is not free and clear of encumbrances. Right. Leases and you know. I wrote it down. Good. I hope it's not changed though. This is called a rainbow eucalyptus. Look at that. Holy moly. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. Good. Great. There's only one other kind of tree and I, I can't see it from here. This right guy? Now. This guy here right in yeah. front of us? Yeah. yeah. 
That's a, is that something you planted? Yeah. No. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's, how many years is that thing growing? Well, this was planted in 1995. Oh my God. I must be 100 years old. See, it's already at chest height. It's already about 30 inches. And, bark, you know? and ultimately, ultimately, old. it will be used for timber. At some point, it's cut down and used for timber. Is that the idea? All of this is intended as, as um, lumber. Lumber. Mm -hmm. All these trees that you see here have all been planted and will be harvested for their timber. All of them. They don't. These are not trees that are growing wild. Right here, planted, planted trees. Are those, are those um, burls? Are those not burl, like burl or? Another gate to go through. <laughs> Don't let go, kitty. Well, uh oh. We're gonna have to duck. We gotta duck soon. Here comes, we have to duck big time, actually. Look at this guy. You got yourself a lot of birds. I do. Yeah, I don't know how you get birds. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to. We've been walking through a lot of jungle. Okay, honey, go ahead. Oh, well, wait a minute. You're getting ready. I'm, I'm already getting, doing it. I'm getting up as much as I can. Okay. I don't want this to hurt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Keep your feet up. Keep, Keep your feet, feet up. up. Otherwise, you'll smash them into the ground. <laughs> Hello. Remember to keep your feet up. Otherwise, they'll jam into the ground. Break. Okay. You want to go higher? higher. You want to get swing higher. higher? Okay, you got to keep your feet up, though. <laughs> keep Push your feet higher, up, Daddy. Chad. Push me higher. Higher. Higher, Daddy. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Where do these tails are? These, these little doves are so pretty.
I'm I'm shooting. So what I'm gonna what I like to use for for signing is a red iron oxide, and got to tuck in the front of the pants because I'm gonna lean over here. Don't want to drag on the pot, and I I usually just give it a little spin here. Some sometimes I have to spin more than others because some of the wheels actually. Okay, that's half of my signature. If you'll step back, I'll get another dip here. Now I'll finish it. So this is, the reason I started doing this is because I used to make it in the middle and mm -hmm. people would drill holes and cut my signature out of the piece. Yeah. So I decided I'd move it to the outside. And... Is it a, callig a calligraphy for, for your initials? Or no. um, it's yeah, it's a, it's a stylized M, as in Mark. Hey. So okay. I used to sign them MK, Mark Kimball, and then I just decided I'm just going to simplify it because I'm tired of signing so many people. And I don't fuss if it drips or something. I don't worry about it. Boy, look at the mosquitoes. They have just ganged up on us here. You can see them in the... So right. let me make you aware that we're Look looking at, at one of one of Mark's lava pots that he created yesterday on the on the what do you call it on the spinner on the potter's wheel yeah the potter's wheel yeah hello can you look here somebody just come to join us hello this is mad cat she's dangerous uh -huh. always advertise her as dangerous to keep people from touching her cuz She's unreliable. She might just take off your arm and, and she and, doesn't like and you. And where are these will these be shipped to? To clients in what island? Uh, these, this set is a set of four. Won't be shipped anywhere. I'm just going to drop them off at the at the uh, um, place where they get turned into fire fire features. There's a fella downtown who has a business, and what he does is he sets these up to burn propane. That's why we have a big hole in the bottom. The, the they have to be in. processed even more yet. Yes. Well, he's going to make a, a stainless steel um, uh, thing to uh, a burner. He's going to install a stainless steel burner, and then he's going to actually set them up on on posts. I see. For the last one, this is the seventh pot. Yep. This is seventh pot, seventh, seventh signature one. mark. What's the name? Mark. What's the last name? Kimball. Kimball. K I M B. Yeah. A L L. Yeah, I'm just signing them with an M. And there's the M right More there. Less. Mark Kimball. Yeah. Boom, boom. Nice. Hey. Hi, this is Mark again. And no, this is this is not Mark. This this uh, is Teddy. <laughs> oh, this is Teddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listening to Mark, hmm. tell me what this item is that he's he's showing me. He's going to explain it to you, and us. What okay. Well, it's a, a battery out of Anne's, one of the cells out of Anne's uh, Prius. The car is, out there? That yeah, car, yeah. Not that particular one, but just like that. Uh -huh. Anyway, this is a nickel metal hydride battery, and unfortunately it, it wasn't strong enough to, to satisfy her car, so we put in a new one. And... Uh, so I don't know what to do with these right now. I've got two boxes you have of them two here. Two boxes. Mean, mean twenty-four of them? Is that what you said? Twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight of, of these. And, yeah. Uh, the the truth is, there's probably only one or two, and they're probably just a little teeny bit out of whack. And it's still good. I mean, it's still a good battery, but you know, you have to go go get. A